Good afternoon, Alan Johnson here from Piranha Off-Road Products. We're in a very lucky situation. In another couple of days, we're heading off up to the tip of Australia to Cape York Peninsula on a four week trip. Now, obviously the car is already in very good condition and it's always very well prepared, but there are a few specific things I think it's really important to check before you head off on your trip. People who don't do this pre-trip preparation generally run into some sort of grief somewhere along the trip. Four weeks and thousands and thousands of kilometres away from service and access to parts and things, you need to do a bit of preparation. The first thing I would always check is my batteries because obviously batteries going flat can be quite disastrous. To that end, interestingly enough, these batteries can't be checked in the conventional way. The reason we can't check them is we can't dip them with a hydrometer because there's nothing to dip, they're completely sealed. So the only way we can look inside these batteries is with a plate density tester, which is this machine here. We hit the green button, which is test, and it will tell us that battery has 1062 CCA, is sitting at 12.43 volts. The battery is in fact a good battery, but 12.43 tells me it needs charging. So in other words, the battery has probably been pretty reliable to take on the trip. Now the other things we've done on this car, because it's 10 years old, we've gone through every single hose and checked all the hoses. We've changed all the belts. We've actually taken the original belts off and put them in the back of the car to take them as spares. What I've done with this car is I've kept the original spare underneath the car, but I've got one that's skinny. It's really skinny, but it's the same rolling diameter as the big wheels on it. The second thing you'll probably notice is I normally run 35 inch tyres. I've gone back to 33s for the trip. It doesn't need the bigger tyres. It's not that hard a trip. And the consequence of this is less rolling resistance and it's much easier to carry. So we've got four brand new tyres on the car plus a, a fifth one here that matches, and a sixth one underneath the car that's the same rolling diameter, very important. This is a gadget that Ron Moon introduced me to when he was in Africa. This little thing here actually takes water out of your fuel. Now the only bad thing about the funnel is A, it's very expensive, and B, it's quite slow to fill the tank because it's got to go through these two filter things. There's a cheaper version of this which has got one filter, but this is an absolutely essential because on my last trip I did away, I actually got contaminated diesel, and our friends around the corner, Mr Rankin, is now a very much wealthier man than he was before because several thousand dollars for fixing the injector pump and all the injectors. The other final bits that are locked in that back compartment is obviously some wheel bearings, front wheel bearings, rear wheel bearings, there's a universal joint and there's some spare brake shoes. So basically preparation, tyres, suspension, all the normal things, the filter's a great idea and have a great trip guys and it's, get ready and enjoy it.